He protect. He attack. But most importantly, he man flack. Hey, what's up guys? It's Space Explosion here, and I'm back with another video. That was a <coughs> interesting intro I had there. I don't know. Um, I came up with that because my sister brought up that meme. Um, but um, today I'm going to be doing my Chaos Galaxy deck profile. Um, keep in mind that I don't have that many cards, so this is a 24 card deck. And it's what it is for now, but I recently ordered some um, battle packs, I think they're called, in the mail, two of them. So I will have like a lot more cards. And um, stay tuned for that unboxing. They're supposed to be arriving the 10th of October. And I'm filming this really late at night for some reason. But, um, yeah, that's why I sound really tired. But anyway, this is a Shios-based deck. So we're going to be using the Shios planet card. This is a, like, Viridius the Devourer Meltawan deck. So they're, like, the two main cards that focus around everything. So, um... Yeah, I have my bright green sleeves right here. So we're going to be going through all the cards that I have in this deck that I thought would fit pretty decently in. So we're going to start off, obviously, with the Chios Planet card. Put that off to the side. And I'm going to start going over the attachment cards. There's six of them. So I'm running one of each. So I'm running one Blaze Elixir. One Acid Stock Cloud, which you'll see why I'm running that later. One Eternity Amulet, because it's so good. Um, one Ice Elixir. One KO, because that's also extremely good. And one Galacta Saber, just to add some extra hit points. But I'm mostly running um, KO in case like my opponent would have like a Crunch on or something. Or another really strong card. And also an Eternity Amulet, because it will go well on Viridius the Devourer, or Meltawan. So, yeah. Um, those are the attachment cards. Then I'm going to show you the resource cards, which I also have six of. Again, I'll probably put more attachment and resource cards once I get more cards to be able to play with and um I didn't want to add all the cards I had into this deck because then I would not have nothing to play against so again I'm running one of each of these so I'm running one slush infestation because it's just really really good um one galaxy's gift one resource conjurer one point, one bullet comet, and of course you need to have a galaxy crash because it just needed in very emergency well, um, emergencies. So it's always good to have a galaxy crash in your deck just in case. Now we are going to be moving on to the uh, creatures. There's 12 of them, I think, in this deck. So, um, I'm running two Spark Eyes just because there's some high amount of star cards, creatures in my deck. So, I'm going to need to balance them out in case I need to just throw a creature out on the field. I'm also running two Seed Blasters because Seed Blaster is just really good with, um, Acid Stock Cloud, which is pretty much what it's meant for. Um, Seed Blaster says, When this creature is killed by it, by a battle, all creatures in your opponent's battle zones become Gaia creatures. And then Acid Stock Cloud says, Attach only to a Gaia creature. Every time the attached creature owner's turn begins, they lose two points. So while you're also having like the main Viridius, the Devourer, and Meltalon, like, 
just chopping away at your opponent with points, or you're also getting rid of your opponent's points at the same time. So you're getting a huge advantage. So this combination will be really good when I get to set up, a, have a good game, and play against someone that knows what they're doing, because my sister's not a great example of that. I still have to teach her. But yeah, I'm running two Spark Eyes and two Seed Blasters. I'm running one Orbov, one Kronk, one Bold Whip, one Bob 2699. We're getting into the four main cards of this deck. My boy Man Flacky, <laughs> who was featured in that meme before. Um, and then, or the three main cards of the set. We have Drangel, the most powerful common creature. Of course, you gotta have him in here because he's just a, a beast. And then you have Meltalon and Viridius, the Devourer. I was gonna make a Cranchon deck, but then I realized I didn't have that many Polysium creatures. I think he's like the only Polysium creature I have, actually. So, um, yeah, I decided to go with a Viridius Man, um, Meltalon deck just because I feel like they're going to be able to work together very well, especially with the effect of Shios. And, uh, every, after every third Shios creature on your planet is killed by an opponent's attacker creature ability, you draw one card, which allows you to kind of get to Viridius quicker if he's at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah. Um, these were, this was my Shios Viridius Meltalon deck that I've created. Um, it's probably going to be modified once I get more cards to add into the deck. But, yeah, this is it for now. We're really, really, really close to 300 subscribers. I'm looking forward to uploading my, um, pack opening video of Crunk Universe and I'm really excited for my birthday because I'm getting a lot of stuff and it's gonna be great so um we're at this point in time I'm four subscribers away from 300 so um hopefully no one unsubscribes but um yeah see you guys in the next video which is hopefully a video of me opening my booster packs. So, yeah. See ya.